take a nice deep breath in with me. Hold and release. Sisters and brothers, I got something very informative. Family, if you know the time, I'm here to tell you time. Believe in yourself. Get this, right? Something I've been long been studying is giants. Yes, back in the 1800s, they were finding giants all over the world. Now, what did they do with the giant skeletons? And I, when I say giants all over the world, we're talking anywhere from 7 to 30 foot tall giants. It says in the Bible. It says uh, when man had to live with giants, and it also said the ancient tribes, the ancient Indian tribes, they said, then they all say the same thing. They had to fight off giants. They called them the man-eaters because they were cannibals. Now, what I find is very interesting about all this in the, here in the new Garden of Eden, what I really think is interesting in all this, they find the burial sites in, on mounds. So they didn't bury them underground. They buried them on t above ground, which I think is very interesting. Now, about the giants, it's incredible. When they found a seven foot tall and uh, I believe eight to 10 foot tall body, they found relics with it. They found pottery and they also found the Mayan calendar. Now, ask yourself this, okay? Well, evolution's a joke. If you believe in evolution, no offense, you're wrong. We did not evolve from apes. That's bullshit, okay? This ain't planet of the freaking apes. But I will tell you this. Think about the Mayan calendar, okay? <laughs> so the Mayan calendar is perfect. 365 days and it goes into 12 months, right? And then it goes into days in the Mayan calendar. Now how the heck were they able to figure out the way the planet worked, as in um, seasonal changes. Well, think about this for one second. There's only one way. Extraterrestrial beings, ancient aliens. That is the only way they would have been able to do it because they had to have been from a different star system, a different planetary system. Now, if they're from a different planet sy planetary system, that means there are and if you don't know about the Goldilocks zone, we are in the Goldilocks zone in our planetary solar system, which means we have the perfect um, elements for life. Water, wind, you know, fire. We have all the perfect elements for life here. So they had to figure out, <laughs> which I think is freaking amazing. They actually had to understand and figure out how this pla how this planet Earth works because they were from different the, the giants were from another planet they were from different planets now the giants also had six fingers and six toes and two sets of jaws so they had two molars and so they basically had two teeth side by side top and bottom six fingers. Now let's go into the Simpsons. What do you see in the Simpsons? They all have four fingers, right? Oh, oh, four finger. <laughs> so, why is this? Because man created the Simpsons, right? But we come from a race of possible giants. But you need to also think about where did the Mayans go? There's a lot of um, controversy on where did they go, where they taken away by alien ships, or perhaps were they, were they aliens themselves? Again, what I think is really interesting is they were not, all the giant, they, dude, they have found, found giants all over the world. I thought it was just in certain parts of America. No, 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 no. All over the world. And if you ask me, I do believe there are still probably giants living amongst us. Now, we have something called gigantic, giganticism, I believe it is, and it's when a human grows abnormally tall, most of them play for basketball. I'm 6'4", I stand tall, I'm a pretty tall individual. Now, on other planets, think about this, on other planets that were two or three sizes of 
our planet that was in the Goldilocks zone, <laughs> they had to have been bigger, right? They had to have been giants. So perhaps ancient alien technology, we've already had, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure everybody knows but at this point has been questioning that we do, we did have the technology that we have now, right? Now get this, it goes so much deeper and so much more interesting. The Smithsonian, they hid this. The Smithsonian actually has a lot of the discoveries that have been found family. They have a lot of the discoveries that have been found, but what they do with it is the question. I'll tell you what they did with it. They hid it because they don't want us to know our history, and they don't want us to question Darwinism's theory of evolution. I'm here to tell you, the theory of evolution is false. So, and... <laughs> And, and there's a man that is brilliant on YouTube who completely debunks it, like, in an hour. It completely makes the whole idea of Darwin's evolution theory it, it look stupid. And in my opinion, it's, it's, it's idiocracy at its finest. But, I mean, it was a theory. No, but if you believe this theory, get this. We were tadpoles once that somehow swam out of the... <laughs> We swam out of the of the water and then we just grew into freaking cavemen or excuse me um, gorillas and then in turn to cave. No, that's false. That's the reason why they found Lucy, the precursor to man, because in the Bible, as you know, the Bible says the Garden of Eden, because we were made actually to mine gold by by the ancient Sumerians. Now, when you, when you look at the ancient Sumerians and the texts, when I say texts, I'm saying pictures. You see giants, right? This is the reason why in the Bible it says we take our, we took a rib and we gave it to a woman. But then we had, um, which they allegedly are locked up on Saturn, angels. These could have been the angels, the fallen ones. That's what they were. They were the fallen angels that hooked up with women. And that's the reason why the great flood came. Think about all this. This is all very true. And that's the reason why the great flood came, because what God saw, or I don't want to say the God, because I think there's gods, and then the gods are on earth right now. The titans are back, but we are not here in physical form. We are here in spiritual form. So I want to give my thanks and praise to everybody who supports my channel right now. And I also want you, want to, you to understand that your history is being hidden from you. It's sad, but it is what it is. And there's still experiences going on in Iraq. When I heard of something about about a year ago, where um, there were a platoon of soldiers that got rocked by... Uh, this is a legend. I don't know if it happened, but allegedly got rocked by a giant being so i do believe they are still on earth so it makes you wonder that doesn't make me wonder i know it happened we are not from earth okay and planet earth is just a perfect place for us but you have to understand why we're getting taller we're not shrinking <laughs> they say by every sun the sun grows two inches taller than their father okay two inches taller than their father now, I am exactly two inches taller than my father. And so what you're seeing right now is the truth coming to light. So welcome to the age of Aquarius. Brothers and sisters, I want to give my thanks and praises to God, to the ancient Sumerians, and I want to give my thanks and praises to the universe. Shout out to my mentor. I love you so much, brother. May peace be with you. May peace be with you. May peace be with you. And also with you. Think about what I said, man. This is the truth hidden in plain sight. Look up the documentaries. As a matter of fact, I'll put a documentary below for you to see. It's excellent. This is good news. We're finally wondering, or we're finally figuring out where we come from, why we're here, and why we have five fingers <laughs> and five toes. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Peace.